Virgo, welcome to Illuminated Tarot. My name is Jenna. Today I'm here to do your reading for the week of January 15th through the 21st. We're going to take a look at your overall general energy. Ooh, didn't mean to move that selenite. Got your crystals out. <laughs> We're going to take a look at your overall general energy, what you may not see coming, and get some important advice from Spirit. Thank you for tuning in today, for sharing this space with me. Thank you, Spirit, for presiding over this reading. For the Virgo Collective. I hope you're all doing well. It's a pleasure to be with you here in this space. Let's take a look at what's happening for you for the third week of January. All right, let's go. I'm going to go over some pre-shuffled oracle messages, but first let's tap into the tarot energies before you. Please only take what resonates. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Or Venus placements, okay? Ooh, Ten of Wands, recent past. Three of Wands, the Emperor. You know, it sounds like you are taking control, right, of your life. Opening up to seeing a broader view, a bigger vision, right? You were ready to drop whatever burden you were carrying, okay? And I do believe that you are stepping into your power. Some of you are actually leaders out in the world in charge of your own businesses. As entrepreneurs, you have that pioneering spirit within you to take the lead, okay? You do have a vision in your work life. And it's hard. I feel like you've been doing a lot of work out in the world. And you're maintaining this vision. Like, I'm, I can't rest until I achieve success. I'm really getting that strong vibe there. Cannot rest. King of Wands. Passionate leadership. Four of Cups. Could be holding on to a little bit of mm, disappointment. There's something hidden going on right now beneath the surface. We have the King of Wands, Four of Cups, and the Moon. Yeah, it's like you're trying to take control with... with it's like I don't exactly know... There's some aspect of your life you're trying to get a grasp on, but there's another aspect, the another aspect of your life that you're very clear about. I do believe that you're very clear about your direction forward in your sense of power, okay? But there's something you're tripping over. We're going to go deeper. There's something you're tripping over. I'm I'm not sure I'm not clear on what that is. Yeah, and you're trying to gain enlightenment. He's hanging upside down, trying to find comfort in a very uncomfortable position, right? It's like you're trying to look at things from a different point of view. Oftentimes a hangman is, let's take a pause. I need to rest here, even though I don't really want to. I'm going to, whether I like it or not. King of Cups, your opportunity. Mm. Embody a very wise, open-hearted energy here. That's what spirit is telling you to do. You could be really grounded in a in a loving vibration this week, um, and it's going to help you navigate maybe some choppy waters around you. The challenge is that you are juggling something. Maybe you are juggling a lot of change. You are going through an internal purification. We're going to get to that in a moment. And you're accessing higher hidden realms. What you don't see coming is the Eight of Swords. Still feeling trapped in something. Could be a way of being, a uh, way of thinking. We'll clarify these energies in a moment, but your pre-shuffled oracle messages, and I decided to use two different decks by the same creator. Uh, one is around your sacred power and one is around your sacred spirit. So your sacred power for the week is purification. You're being called, see all those waters, these standing beside, or she, they, doesn't matter gender. But this is about cleansing your environment and your personal space. So this week you could, be, you, you could be opening up your heart and your soul to release old traumas, old wounds, letting the emotions flow through you, okay? But this is about spending time in or around water as well. So you're being called to drink more water, be around bodies of water, soak in water. Water is going to feel, be, feel and be extremely purifying for you this week, okay? So you can clear, purify your mind, all right? Try to get near water the best you can, as much as you can this week. But also on an energetic level, you're, on an energetic level sorry, you're going through a purification process, especially this week. You're cleansing out some old energies. 
and and as you declutter your environment you may be feeling called to clean out old drawers get rid of old things and as you remove this old stagnating energy you know whatever what is that Marie Kondo is that her name Kondo, I forgot her name but you know you, you whatever doesn't bring you joy you haven't worn it in a year or two you know you're never gonna wear it give it away okay Hidden Realms, this is your Sacred Spirit reading card for the week. And as you can see, there's a lot of transformation going on in this card. It's very intense if you want to look at this. It's an activation as well. This is about creating conscious awareness. Okay, Virgo? Expanding your consciousness and reconnecting your soul. You're going through a deep healing process right now. So you might even feel called to um, go into the subconscious realm in your dream state any kind of meditative state you could be getting downloads there's there's a very very strong link to the hidden realms okay this week in in creating a more conscious awareness as you go through this purification in your environment and within self so you can get more clarity i mean you're being called to do that the hangman that's what he's doing he's looking for clarity trying to find the light within all right let's see Let's clarify these energies. Dropping that burden though. You definitely dropped a heavy load in the past and it gave you a new sense of power. And for those of you in work, you're doing a lot of hard work out there in the world, running a business, building an empire. You have a vision for the future and you were doing all the work to actualize that vision and make that happen in reality. Ace of Pentacles, yeah, you're, ooh, you're, you got a, woo, wowza, Ergo, you're not messing around this week, wow, 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 damn, let it rain, look at that, this week, <laughs> you are really, really, really in a pocket of energy that is abundant, look at that, Pentacles, look at that, that's unbelievable, this is a sure, assured prosperity, okay? This is a beautiful, vibrant flora. This is signifying a golden opportunity to invest, right? To grow your coin, okay? To a king of pentacle status, upgrading your lifestyle. You could very well be meeting people that you're collaborating with in business that are bringing about new investments and more money streams. Streams of income, Virgo. You are seeing a lot of hard work pay off this week. And I think you're taking pause and you're like, damn, I'm, I'm creating some, some nice abundance here. You've got some unexpected income coming or an unexpected opportunity to increase your monetary success stabilize some some of you it's a gift some of you it's a loan there's something going on in on the money front big time this week all right let's go into your opportunity at the king of cups Ooh. king of cups emotional maturity emotionally wise yes double king of cups with the Knight of Wands and the Hangman. Wow, you are moving forward from a really, really, really deep, deep place of emotion. You have a lot of love in your heart to give. Whether you're with someone or not, man, you've got, it's almost, it's seeing this double energy with the King of Cups, I do believe that you are giving yourself so much self-love right now. As you go through this purification process and you increase your awareness, you're gaining enlightenment in this Hangman state. Double energy, we have a double Hangman, double King of Cups. With, with a fast-moving energy, it's like the more you pour into yourself, the greater your conscious awareness becomes. Wow. This is gorgeous, Virgo. I am, wow. I am really, 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 really happy for you because this feels really good. I mean, you could be receiving a lot of love, just universal love here. As you pause, as you go within, we're talking about being in a state of enlightenment, right? Meditating and then just having the spirit move through you. You're having some sort of spiritual heart opening, awakening this week. It's, it's blasting you open. You're being blasted open with divine knowledge through the heart. Your heart is being broken open on a spiritual level. 
and your abundance is flowing. There's some really, really beautiful energies you're accessing this week. Dang. I almost want to stop here because there are some, there's something you're juggling though. I want to go into this challenge for the week, but your opportunity is to go within, go deep. It's going to open your heart big time and, and be thankful. Have gratitude for your many blessings that are on the way. So many blessings on the way. You being given gifts, monetary gifts. Wow. Two of pentacles. Queen of Swords, Two of Swords, Four of Swords. Yeah, you're going through a deep purification and healing process. The challenge is removing, removing any blocks that stand in the way. You're removing emotional baggage through, through your own wisdom. Wow. You're going through a deep healing process. Wow, you're, you stepped into your power recently. And as a result, you're trying to stabilize within yourself through a deep healing process. It's not easy to anchor these energies, y'all. It is not. When you go through a deep purification, especially if you're removing an energy from your life that you knew wasn't right for you or wasn't good for you, you are now in a position to really, really go deep. I think that you were back and forth in your mind about a situation. And now you're gaining a lot more clarity and you're coming out of the illusion of it. The challenge is letting yourself heal. And just because someone wasn't right for you doesn't mean that they were bad. Okay, let's frame that. We do a lot of good and bad in comparison. And yes, there are toxic energies in the world. And those are all lessons that we learn from. Everything is a lesson, right? And we, we, we put these labels on things to understand it. But at the end of it, we're all <laughs> actors on the stage. Shakespeare put it best. I mean... Life is quite a journey and we can take it so seriously, right? These are serious matters that we face on this planet. But the beauty of it all is underneath it all. They're all lessons, okay? No mistakes, only lessons. The right people, the right time, the right place. I don't think there's any really wrong. It's our framing of it that makes it so, right? And someone may not be right for you, but doesn't make it wrong, right? If that makes sense. It makes it a lesson learned, okay? So I th I'm looking at some Virgos that are like, yeah, that's a lesson learned. And I'm purifying myself of this energy. And I'm letting it drain out of me. And I'm putting myself first. And while I felt very unstable because of this energy, I am now going within, seeking enlightenment coming out of any kind of feeling of entrapment. Yeah, if this was over a soul contract, six of cups. You're letting it go. You're letting go of the burden of carrying it. I feel like I know pretty much what happened here in your past. I want to go forward here. This is King of Wands. Yeah, I knew it. Ten of Swords. Yeah. I think that either some of you are in different timelines. But regardless, I think that you're, there's a lot of confusion that you're clearing up in your own empowerment. King of Wands is taking control of your life, okay? Moving past disappointments. There's a lot that was hidden from your point of view. Your purview was limited because I think you wanted to see someone, the best in someone, despite maybe them giving you their worst. It doesn't mean there wasn't love. It just means it wasn't right doesn't mean it was wrong. I think that you, you went through a lot of um, hurt um, with someone, but sometimes out of these dark places we go to in relationships and contracts, so much light is gained. It's really out of the darkness, there's light. You know, when you walk into a room and it's dark, you turn the light on, right? So you're turning the light on in this dark period and you were going within and out of your own journey your healing journey you are gaining more and more power and you're coming out of confusion there was a lot of illusion and a recent connection i think you both fell into it and you may have really been acting from a trauma response but i think now you're trying to stabilize financially you're trying to stabilize within yourself and you're trying to grow and there's there's no harm in in what you experienced, it's the lesson you take with you, okay? 
all pain turns into power if we alchemize it. Okay, what's this Four of Cups? This is the disappointment we find, right? When situations aren't yielding us. Yeah. You may have an opportunity right now. There is love here. There's also a lot of disappointment. I think you're very confused about what to do. I'm getting a confused Virgo. I think you had a recent ending and it's something you're still in turmoil over. The path became very hard. It's almost like there was a conflict between work, money, and love. I'm not sure the details. It doesn't matter. What matters is that out of love, we do grow stronger. There's You gave love, and you can't fault yourself for what you gave. You're disappointed in the outcome. But it's almost like you're making peace feel like you're making peace with the way things are and you're no longer trying to make things how you want them to be you're accepting what is you're just I keep hearing I learned my lesson here but it doesn't make it any easier right the moon justice five of wands ten of wands yeah it was almost as though no matter how deep you went in this connection it just you never could balance it out there was always a power struggle there was always a tug of war there was always a battle of wills and it was hard it just got so hard you're like jenna it just got so hard i gave and gave and gave and gave and i'm sure all of you could tell me hundreds of stories about how and the narrative about everything you did how well-meaning it was how good intentioned it was but it, listen if you're dealing with someone You want growth. I see that very clearly. You want growth. You want stability. You are an earth sign. You need that. You need stability. And whatever was going on in this is much love, right? The opportunity to love. How much you wanted to deepen in the love. There was too many blocks in the way. There are too many hurdles in the way. There was too much confusion and you lost yourself and you were regaining your sense of self. I do believe this two of cups has a lot more to, with you. It, it has a lot more to do with you investing in loving yourself and loving this person despite the pain they caused. I think you're always going to love this person. But again, it's the ego battle. Are you going to continue to fight with someone in ego? It's like you were so determined to, to, to just get to a good place. But no matter how hard you tried, it just wasn't working. But there's something that is shifting within you now where you're like, my peace is all that matters. In the end, it's true. Karmic wheel is turning, honey. I feel it. You want change. You want stability. You want growth. If you're not getting it, Time to move on to new lands, right? If the ground is not, is infertile. Yeah, eight of swords. You want happiness. You don't want to hurt anymore. You don't want to, you don't want, it's a loss. Listen, there are times in our lives where we have to cut ties with people that we care about because it only hurts us and causes, to, it's like you're in a period of grief and it's a phase, right? When something ends, it's a phase and it's hard. It's a hard phase, honey. It's a hard phase. I'm giving you, I am tell, I'm telling you right now that my heart is pouring out to you in this moment. If you're watching this and you're hurting, my heart is beside you and is sharing this heart because it is a universal condition to feel pain, to feel sorrow, to feel brokenheartedness. But I promise you there is light at the end of this. There's always light. All you have to do is turn the switch. And that switch can only be turned on in time. It's a process. You're going through a purification process, letting go of the energy that you, God, you tried so hard. And I want to tell you, you did a good job. I know you meant well. 
I know how deeply you loved this person. But some people, their charge is in the fight. Their, their ego wants to win. They will not surrender. I think you went up against a formidable energy that left you feeling trapped. And no matter how hard you tried to be happy, it just wasn't creating happiness overall because there was no peace. This person's not at peace inside. And when we fall in love with people like this and we try to rescue them, it ends up becoming a codependent nightmare. And it will drain your resources, it will drain your stability, it will drain your, your emotions, it will drain your mental space, it will drain everything out of you. So this is about you filling yourself back up again, Virgo. Okay? There are hidden realms helping you create more conscious awareness of self. No longer abandoning self, are we? Okay? We are now purifying and we are letting go. All right. Let's get some advice from spirit. You got to let you got to go through this loss, okay? Out of the pain of loss. You're making a final judgment call and you're coming up with a plan in your own healing the challenges to heal and to come out of this phase of repeating a cycle. King of Cups, Three of Wands in the Chariot. Again, King of Cups, Double Energy, Knight of Wands. You're moving through. Speed is picking up in your healing journey. The more love you pour into self, that golden opportunity is coming. You're going to have a new opportunity to love. Real love. I have this on my page. Real love teaches you how to heal. Heartless love teaches you how to say no. Okay? So I believe you know how to say no. You got healing love coming in when you're ready. Okay? You keep moving forward. You keep moving forward, Virgo. Okay? That new golden opportunity to love boldly and deeply is on its way. But you got to pause and you got to purify your soul, your, your body, and your mind from this energy. Okay? doesn't mean it was wrong. It just means it wasn't. And it was right for you, right? Because it's opening you up. But this is the time to surrender it, okay? And go deep. Allow yourself to heal. This is a beautiful phase. I went through something similar to this for two years. I'm uh, about a year and a half out from that phase. And my life has never been more beautiful. And I still have hardships. But I called in healthy love, okay? After... A love that broke me open. All right. Sometimes you almost have to give up on love before the right love comes. Okay. And what I mean by right, it's the healthy kind. All right. That helps you heal. Heartless love. That's when you have to really start saying no. Okay. If you got someone that is, is always showing up in ego, who refuses to surrender, who refuses to grow and learn, who isn't stable in themselves, especially there's something going on financially. You really want stability financially. You're creating that for yourself, okay? You create it for yourself, okay? You're regaining your power, all right? I'm sending you so much love. Spirit's got you. Keep purifying, okay? And keep going deep within. It's so much beauty there, honey. That's where real love is, really, inside, okay? Take care.